Hello everyone, today I'm going to give you a tour of my crew comm system, which is how the sound department communicates to each other seamlessly on a film set. I'm going to show you the specific equipment that I use and how I have it set up on my mixer recorder combo. Let's do this. An effective crew comm system can make the difference between an effective sound crew and one that is scrambling. So let's start with the basic tools used by the crew members, specifically the boom op and sound utility. The first of which is the Electrosonics R1A, which is how they hear the mix plus hear themselves. Next is the transmitter in which I use a G3 EW100 that is modified with an SNA antenna, which improves reliability and range. Now, to complete the system is a simple push-to-talk surveillance microphone from a radio piece, which has been modified by removing the ear set and also soldering on a locking 35 millimeter connector. On the card end is the two EW100 G3 Sennheiser receivers going into a combiner, which takes the two XLR males down to one XLR male then giving you the opportunity to feed both channels into the 688 return input or the crew comm receiver input. Next, let's talk about the equipment on the cart side. Here you see the EW100 G3 receiver, which has a right angled antenna. So when laying in the down position, the antenna is in the correct orientation, also modified with the SNA antenna. Next is the Electrosonics IFBT4 system. This is what is being fed to the crew out the auxiliary five of the 688 sending to the IFBT4. The slate mic that I'm using is the 12 gauge shotgun microphone. No pun intended. This microphone is actually a condenser microphone, but it does not require 48 volts to operate. The input on the slate mic of the 688 is a 15 volt system, so you can actually power some condenser microphones. You'll just want to be sure to test the type of microphone that you use to be sure you're getting the results that you want. Now that I've shown you all of the equipment used and how it is connected, let's go into the routing menu system of the 688 and configure that optimally. Remember, the ultimate goal is for all crew members on a comm system to be communicating with each other easily and effectively. So to do this, we're going to go into the comms returns menu and make some selections. You're going to set the mic type that you're using. In my case, I'm using 15 volt. Also set your gain settings to taste, both the mic gain and return gain, and make sure your mute output program is set to no. Next, we're gonna create a custom headphone preset in which we're gonna be able to allow the mixer to hear the return comm as well as the mix through the headphone channel. Next, we're going to route that same headphone signal down auxiliary five, which remember is sending to the crew via the auxiliary five output to the Electrosonics IFBT4 transmitter. The result is all crew members can hear each other with a simple push to talk system, but the boom op and utility are using the surveillance headset with the G3 and the mixer communicates by simply pressing the comm and talking into the slate mic. This has a lot of benefit because the boom op can hear when I roll and cut via the pulses and utility as well. It just kind of helps us all stay on the same page. Now, another useful feature is to create a favorites in your headphone preset, as you see here, so you can easily toggle between two headphone presets, one of which includes the comm and the other that is just the mix. And by temporarily muting the comm system while rolling, you can be absolutely assured that what you're hearing is only the talent wireless. I hope you found some bits and pieces of this valuable for your comm system. Maybe you're thinking about updating your current system or tweaking it in a different way. And if you have some suggestions or questions about comm systems in general, feel free to put them in the comments below. And this channel is dedicated to the craft of production sound mixing and location recording. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. I try to upload weekly videos to the channel and I'll look forward to seeing you guys soon.